From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on the new news. I'm Andrea Lutz. Ahead, a response to school threats. We'll find out how one Montana school district is doing that with anonymous and copycat cases. But first. In your leading look this Thursday, former employees at the state prison in Deer Lodge say workers aren't being treated fairly. The former correctional officers claim the prison is understaffed and people are underpaid. They also allege the prison had a toxic culture and say they experience bullying from management. A Great Falls is the birthplace of the National Native American Hall of Fame. During this National Native American Heritage Month, eight people were inducted into the Hall of Fame. The 2021 inductees have made major contributions to business, government, medicine, and the arts, and more. That ceremony right there, it took place this week in Oklahoma. A Missoula pastor and real estate agent is facing an ethics complaint after he chose to withdraw his church from helping a food bank program that was distributing a gay rights flyer. He's now suing the local Realtors group, which accuses him of hate speech toward the LGBTQ community. MTN's Mike Dennison has the story. The Clinton Community Bible Church in Clinton has been partnering for years with the Missoula Food Bank to distribute free lunches for kids in the community during the summer. But this June, the Food Bank placed a pride flyer in the lunches to promote Gay Pride Month and LGBTQ rights. Church pastor Brandon Huber decided that went against the church's biblical doctrine and told the Food Bank the church would withdraw from the program and distribute its own lunches to local kids. He made that announcement in an open letter to his congregation. And several weeks later, a local citizen filed a complaint with the Missoula Organization of Realtors, accusing him of engaging in hate speech toward the LGBTQ community. Huber is a part-time real estate agent. Now, the local realtors group apparently will hold a hearing next month on the complaint. But Huber sued the realtors last week in state court in Missoula, asking a judge to void the realtors' rule prohibiting hate speech. Matthew Monforton is Huber's attorney. The realtors' hate speech rule is intended to purge Christians from the real estate business. If you are a Christian who believes the way tens of millions of American Christians do, that homosexuality is wrong, there's simply no way that you can participate as a realtor with the kind of hate speech prohibition that exists. The rule applies to any realtor behavior, whether it's on the job or not. If Huber is found to violate the rule, he could be fined or denied access to the organization's multiple listing service. We also spoke to Kevin Ham of Helena, the president of Big Sky Pride. Ham says he has no sympathy for Huber's position and that the ethics rule should be enforced. As he put it, the man's a bigot and he's getting what he deserves. People like him make it uncomfortable for us to live here. They make it so that we're in danger. An attorney for the Missoula Realtors Group says it will respond after it's reviewed the lawsuit, which says the hearing for Huber before a Realtors Board is scheduled for now on December 2nd. In Helena, I'm Mike Dennison for MTN News. Well, it's been very dry out there, and we continue to see that with the latest drought monitor that has come out. Most of the region not unchanged, or haven't seen any changes, but we have seen some improvement in northeast Montana, north central Wyoming as well, but it has gotten drier in central Montana. In fact, 30 states are currently in some stage of drought. Now, we have, I would say, maybe a steady stream of moisture coming in, does that mean we're going to get any accumulation? These are estimates. We'll take it from now all the way through Sunday night. Most of the state and down in northern Wyoming, just looking at trace amounts, higher elevations could see maybe upwards of an inch. We'll tell you more about that, how that could happen. Coming up with the main forecast in just a bit. From Alabama to New York to Missouri to right here in Montana, threats against schools and school districts have been popping up on social media. While this concerning trend may seem new, police and school officials say they are prepared to keep students and staff safe. From lockdowns to evacuations, students and teachers prepare for a worst case scenario. We practice for these drills. Unfortunately, um, we never thought we'd had to do this 20, 30 years ago, right? 
but times change, as do threats against schools. Most recently, a spate of copycat threats have been posted on social media directed at schools across the country. It was just um, this date and this time we're going to be doing this. No matter how vague the threat, the response is not vague. We take these threats as if they're real all the time, and we have to. At the school level, that sparks a variety of responses that district officials say they've planned for with the help of school level safety committees. And so if it's an active shooter, we have plans. If it's a bomb, we have plans. If it's, um, if it's an anonymous threat, we have plans. On the law enforcement side, it triggers an investigation. And no matter how anonymous someone thinks a post, Instagram story, or Snapchat is, police say there is always a digital footprint. We've had some threats in Montana, um, and law enforcement's been able to track them down. So what do you do if you see or hear of a threat? Report it to the police, to a teacher, to a school resource officer. It helps keep everyone safe, and at the end of the day, officials say that is what matters. The, it's our top priority, absolutely. You know, Parents send their kids to schools every day, understand that the, we're going to do everything we can to keep them safe. Helena Public Schools has not seen one of these social media threats just yet, but law enforcement says if one does occur, depending on the nature of the threat, it could lead to criminal charges. In Helena, Marion Davidson, MTN News. Up next, our Miller Robson is back in with another check of today's weather, plus honoring Montana's unknown soldiers. We'll take you to their resting place where they'll never be forgotten.